Located 15 kilometers from Dublin is Docky, a charming little village. One of the main ports through which the plague entered Ireland in the mid 14th century. Hello and welcome to the channel. Do you like to explore and find hidden gems around your city? I do. I love to explore. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some amazing places in Docky. And stick around to the end, because I'm going to have a surprise location for you. Docky Castle was built around the 1390s, with the purpose of storing goods offloaded in Docky during the Middle Ages, when Docky was still one of the main ports in Ireland. The castle includes many defensive features to shield it from robberies, and some of these are preserved and remain in the castle until today. The murder hole right above the front door was used to drop rocks or boiling oil on anyone who tried to force their way through the front door, which must have hurt. Slit arrow loop windows were used for archers. And next to the castle, there are rooms of a church and an old cemetery. You can take a tour and watch live enactments of how they would have lived back then, when the castle was thriving. The tours will take you through the old church and cemetery, through the castle rooms and up to the battlements, with a beautiful view of Docky as a bonus, and the fee start from 15 euro. Docky Island is a small island located 5 minutes away from the harbour and it can only be accessed by boat. It's an important site with ancient and historical remains. It used to be a Viking base and there is some evidence that it used to be a slave market from that period. Back then, it was believed that drinking water from the well would cure scurvy and tests have shown high levels of vitamin C in the water, which would be indeed the cure for scurvy. You can find ruins of an old church dated back to the 7th century, named for Saint Bennet. And before this church was built, it was believed that it had been a wooden church on site. There is also one of the 16 Martello Towers, Tower Number 9. Nowadays, the island is home to rabbits and goats. The rocks to the east of the island are known as the Muglins, and as they were dangerous to the ships, they added a distinctive beacon, which was later on replaced by a lighthouse. You can now book a tour of the island and enjoy the magnificent sights. Kalini Hill Viewpoint In this beautiful public park, you can find an obelisk built in 1742. This obelisk was built to commemorate what was described as the Era of Slaughter, or Ireland's Forgotten Femme. at Kalini Hill was built in 1852 by Robert Warren, the owner of the state at the time. Referred to as the wishing stone, according to interpretation, your wish comes true when you circle all the levels of the little pyramid. Although it is in Kalini, it oversees Docky and it's more of a Docky viewpoint. And the bonus place will be Manderley Castle.
Robert Warren also built Victoria Castle in 1840 to celebrate her ascension to the throne. The interior was unfortunately destroyed by fire. However, it was later restored by Sir Thomas Power of the Whiskey Distillery family, and then renamed Isha's Castle. After a woman who rose from flames in Ryder, a Hoggard novel, she. The castle is currently owned by Anya, an Irish singer and songwriter, the best-selling Irish solo in history. your favorite place. Do you know of any other hidden gems in Docky? Let me know down in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have some more time, would you like to see more amazing places? I've selected one for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.